My name is Furious Gamer, and welcome back to another 1 to 5 scale German Battleship tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the H class Battleship H44. Now, before, uh, so, you know, relax, I guess, uh, make sure your game is open or whatever, uh, whatever you're doing. And, um, let's just get ready for the tutorial. Now, before we start off, uh, with the video, I'd like to say, um, please make sure you, uh, please make sure I'm giving credit for this design. There's plenty of signs everywhere else on the build. So without further ado, let's just get into this. The H class was a series of battleship built uh, battleship designs for Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine, which were intended to fulfill the requirements of Plan Z in the late 1930s and early 1940s. The first variation, H-39, called for six ships to be built, essentially as enlarged Bismarck-class battleships, with 40.6 with 40 cm or 16-inch guns and diesel propulsion. The H-41 design improved the H-39 uh, ship with still larger main guns, 8.42 cm or 16.5-inch weapons, and reinforced the deck armor. The construction office of the... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, OKM, concluded that the their work with the H-41 design and concluded their work with the H-41 design and were not involved in subsequent plans. Two of them, H-42 and H-43, increased the main battery yet again with 48 centimeter or 18.9 inch pieces in, and the enormous H-44 design ultimately resulted with 50.8 centimeters or 20 inch guns. The ship ranged in size from the H-43, which was 277.8 meters, um, or 911 feet long, on the displacement of 56,442 tons, to the H-44 design at 345 meters, on a displacement of 331,000. Um, Most of the designs had proposed a top speed of in, uh, top speed in excess of 30 knots. Due to the outbreak of World War II in September of 1939, none of the ships were ever completed. Only the first two of the 39 ships were to lay down. What work had been accomplished was halted. The assembled steel remained on the shipway until November 1941, when the OKM ordered it be simply scrapped and used for other purposes. Contracts for the H uh, 44 H 39 type ships had been awarded, but no work was begun on any of them before they were cancelled. And no subsequent designs progressed further than planning stages. Now, the thing about a uh, H uh, 44, she's longer than USS Nimitz or USS Enterprise, meaning she would probably have to have been built in a Chinese or American shipyard, as German shipyards at the time were not large enough to accommodate something of this sheer size. Plus, the H-44 design, being as large as it was, was probably just the uh, designers trying to look busy so they don't get, I guess, paid or whatever. That was happening in, uh, in Germany at the time. But, um, anyway, here is my design for her opening of the anchored battleship here. And then you go and get back of my head. See, these guys are going to like them a lot. The barrel is going to swear in a lot of two massive and sweet.
All right, so starting off with layer one. Now, that is probably gonna take a while to record because of the sheer size. But um, anyway, I'm gonna start off. We, you wanna go? You wanna place a brick wall at the very front of wherever you're putting this? And you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The top part on the side. And then you want one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, Tarkata. With one, two, three, four. The top knobs on the side. And then you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, Tarkata. With one, two, three, four, five. For top slabs on the side. And then you want one, two, three, four, five, red terracotta, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, red terracotta with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, red top tops on the side, and then you want one, two, three, four, five, red terracotta, then you want to go in, you want one, two, three, four, five, with one, two, three, four, red terracotta on the back, I'm going to go in again, you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, red terracotta with 1, 2, 3, red terracotta, and then a uh, brick top slab, and then a brick stair with 1, 2, 3 end rods, and a silt and skull on the end, just like that, you want two brick top slabs, and a brick stair with two end rods, and a skeleton skull. And you want to skip two space, and you want to skip three spaces, and you want two. Two. Trap doors, and you want to go inside. And you want one, two, three, four, five, six. Red terracotta with brick stair on the back. And then once you copy that over, you can fill in. Fill in the keel. Just like that. Now, given her sheer size of over 131,000 tons, I highly doubt that just four props are going to be able to handle it. Not switch. Is about the average speed of a Nimitz class aircraft carrier, but the 44 is not nuclear powered, she is diesel powered. So I highly doubt she'll be able to clock anywhere near the ground. Anyway, um, that is layer one. Moving on to layer two. Alright, moving on from layer one. I'm going to start off. I'm going to move on into layer two. So at the front, you want to place another brick wall on top of the previous one, and you want one, two, three, four, five, right there, and then you want a the brick stair on the side, and then you want one, two, six, right there, and then you want a brick slab on the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, brick slab on the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you want two brick slabs on the side, and then you want one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. Red terracotta on the side, and then you want one, two red terracotta off the back of it. Then you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red terracotta with two brick top slabs on the back. Then you want one, two, three, four, five, six. Red terracotta with one, two, three red terracotta coming up. Brick top slabs on the back. You want one, two, three, four. Red terracotta with one, two, three, four, five, six. Brick top slabs on the side. Uh, on the back. You want one, two, three red terracotta on the inside. A brick top flare stair facing forward. Then you want two brick top slabs on the back. And then. Once you 
copy that to the other side. So I'll throw that for layer four. No, layer two. Move it on into layer three. Alright, moving on into layer three. <coughs> you wanna go to the front? And you want one, two, three, four, five stone blocks. You want stone slab. And uh, stone one, two, three, four, five stone blocks. Stone slab. One, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks. <coughs> stone slab. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um stone stone blocks with a stone slab on the side and then one, two, three, four signs on the side of it. And then you want one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually we're gonna change this slab to a stair. Six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and it's 24 stone blocks. Just like that. And you go in. And you want to cover the whole thing in signs. This is why I don't like German ships. <laughs> it takes longer to make the video. Then you want to go back here, you want to a stone stair on the back, and then one, and then one, two, three, four, and torch signs. And then one, two more stone, stone stair. I'm gonna change this to a slab because I'm an idiot. And then you want one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven stone block, stone pair. One, two, three, four, five stone block, stone pair. Go in between you want stone block and stone stair. Does it four? Layer three, moving on to layer four. Alright, moving on into layer four. This is our final uh, layer for the hull. I hate this. Oh. Um. Right. You want one, two, three stone blocks with the stone bear on the side of it, and then you want one, two, three, four, five stone, uh, six stone blocks with a stone slab on the side. You want one, two, three, four, five, six. Stone stair on the side. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and uh, 26 stone blocks. And the stone stair on the back. Go so annual 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, stone blocks. You want the stone stair. Go back again. You want 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stone stair. One, two, three, four, five. Stone blocks and go in the center of the back of the stone block. And then once you're done with that, you want to take polish blocks and button and finish by covering the top layer in stone buttons.
like that, and then stop getting itchy up. Great. Anyway, you want to fill in to copy that to the other side. You want to fill in. Exact. Just like this, and just like all of my videos, this is. Oh, well, most of my videos, this is usually the longest part. Whether that be for my uh, Enterprise video or just filling in the deck for my aircraft carrier, it always takes really long. Oh, there we go. Now, this is quite. <laughs> Quite large already, and we have a lot to go. So, anyway, um, first we're gonna build the pier of the ship. Then you want to place a stone stair on the front and a stone slab behind it. Then go to the outside. You want to place two. You want a oak wood slab in the center and a stone slab on the other side. You want an oak wood slab in the center. And then one, two, three oak wood slabs in the center with stone slabs. To the other side in the indent, you want to place a weather skeleton skull, light angle, just like that. Oh, yeah, so you want to place stone stair and then a stone slab oh, on the side instead of the stone block slab. so you can put the um, yeah <laughs> so on the side you one two three four five six uh no just five Five, nine, ten, four, nine, six, another mess up I've got in here. So I'm place another. I'm place another slab in front of the previous one on the side. So we go to the other side, just like that. And then on the on one block forward, you want to fill in the deck. Just like that. And then, um, my gun design, <clears throat> but this video is a little different compared to other videos. So you want two in the center here. You want one, two bricks in the shape, open backwards. You want a stone brick stair, and then stone brick stair to either side. You want a row of three stone uh, stone bricks to either side, and then you want stone brick stair on the side, stone brick, stone bricks in the center, and then stone brick stair on the back. And then on the back, you want an upside down facing stair. With stairs on either side, and then a skeleton skull. To either side, and then you want to move this whole thing back because I messed up the gun length. You want three. 
escapes back to back. And then you wanna put the gun. Now we have to have to build four of these things. That's a lot. Get something of this size. And then you want to skip a space behind it, and you want a full block and an andesite wall to either side, and then you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stone block. Um, and then you want oak wood planks in the center. Just like that. And then, to the back, you want stone. Stone bricks there. I put on facing backwards. And then, one in front of it facing forward. And, first, fence gate. In front of it, like that. And then you want one, two, three oak wood planks in the center. One oak wood plank in the center, down to either side, and then inside wall, the extreme side, and then birchwood fence gate. On either side, build another secondary gun behind it. And then we want two rows of three. Oak wood in the center. And stone blocks out of the side on the back. And then you want two rows of three oak wood planks, stone blocks to the side, and then the that wall. You want to take your false black stone buttons actually, and place two in front of these guns at the front. And then you want to place a row of three oak wood planks, stone blocks to either side, and then black stone buttons on them. Row of three stone blocks, no, oak wood blocks, stone uh, blocks, and then stone brick stairs, birch wood fence gate, open inward on either side. And then you want to repeat that. No, you don't actually. You want to get great concrete out. Two rows of three gray concrete stone blocks, and then all black stone buttons on both sides. So actually, what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and fill in the rest of this in. with the gray concrete. Higher deck, right there, concrete. All right, and then you want a row of three concrete in the center, stone blocks, stone brick stairs to either side, and then fence gates open inward. 
just like that. And then another two rows of three gray concrete, stone blocks, and polished black stone buttons. Row of one, two, three gray concrete, stone blocks, stone brick stairs to either side, and then brick baskets. Alrighty, <clears throat> and then we want another row. One, two, three, get concrete. Stun blocks side of side. Pulse blocks, stun buttons. And then you want two rows of three, get concrete in the center. Two stones on the side. And then two anti-side wall. And then three get concrete in the center. And then you know, go in, you want two rows of one great uh great concrete stone blocks on the side and polish on the side of the wall and then Stone brick facing forward and a stone, uh, stone brick stair facing back. Uh, so I just like that. And then the concrete, stone to either side, either side wall, and brick fence gate up back forward on either side. Just like that. And then Two more. Get concrete. Uh, stone blocks. Stone blocks on the side. And a stone block in the center. And then set wall on either side. See so that. And then you want to skip a space and build another gun. So la 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 la. And then that does it for back of the gun. Then you want to skip two spaces if you want. Hmm. Paul, you want to skip two spaces, polish and site slab in the center and two iron top doors to either side. You want to skip two more spaces, polish and site slab and then iron trap door to either side. And you want to skip two spaces, and you want three, three oak wood trap doors in the center, and then iron trap doors to either side, and then build the aft mast. You just want an end rod in the center, one out, and then one on top, and then move the one that is out. And then, <coughs> this is a bit of an updated. Uh, build ahead of what was that. But you just want to fill in the rest of the stone block on the sides. Just like so. And then, just like that, that does it for layer 5, moving on into layer 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 layers. 
already. Front, the front, the wrong place. Two. And that's on top of each other, just so we don't have to deal with the, the front here anymore. Alright, you wanna go, uh, here, you wanna... I'm gonna go to this Ford Fairbat. Fairbat. Yes. My head hurts. Anyway. Number two. Stairs. On the front, and on either side. And then, two stone brick blocks. One to either side on the first one, and then a stone stair to either side on the second one. And then, stone uh, brick in the center, and then one on either side, like that. Three brick fence gates on the front. And then a skeleton skull to either side. Back, so you have the second board gun. Throw it back. And then you want uh, two stone in the center, and then and just two underside walls on either side of it. Then you want two rows of three stone, and then you want two rows of three with polished andesite slabs, top andesite slabs on the side, and then if my neck could stop hurting, that would be great. And one. You want two the concrete in the center, and then stone blocks on the side with polished black stone buttons on the side. I'm going to put polished black stone buttons on the stone blocks at the front. Then you want two stone bricks just like that. And then you want an anisite wall to either side of the first one. And then a stone stair to either side of the Alrighty. And then you want to go back here, you want to place a lever where the second button is on the side of these blocks here. And then you want to place a skeleton skull on top of the first wall. And then you want to take your... And you want to place two of them to either side of the base of the funnel. And then... Uh, okay. Um, so I can get rid of oak wood planks and oak wood slabs. And then you want stone brick wall in the center, and then an iron trap door to either side. Alright. And then you want top iron trap door on the side of it, and then on the extreme end you want lever facing out and the carpet the carpet's in front of it I'll turn it down set the focus there we go You want two andesite walls in the center, smooth quartz slabs to either side, and then you want gray carpet, and then levers, like 
out. Anyone else in the channel? Uh, so for five side of side of that nothingness, and then the carpet on the extreme ends of the structure, just like that. And then you want two stone bricks on the inside, um, and then two andesite walls either side, two slabs, stone plus slabs either side, and then. Birch uh, fence gate for the side, and then and the wall on top of the previous ones, and then the center. Okay, so in the center, you want two grey concrete on the inside, and then you want stone stairs open, no, upside down and facing out on either side of the first one, and then normal stone on the second one, and then behind the, um, behind the, uh, wall, you want a skull on top of the second wall. And then you want to go on the inside of those, then place your carpet on top of the stone. Just like that. Then you want two stone uh, full blocks and a side wall to either side. You want gray carpet. No. You want a iron iron top trap door, not carpet, iron trap door, yeah. You want an anti-site wall with light gray stained glass panel to either side, and then you want to build your final uh, main, main gun. Guns. So I'm starting on the front of the third pack, and then by the side, row three, one in the center, one by the stairs either side, back there, and then back there on it. Um, Scott's called. And then birch fence gates. Just like that. And then you can move on to layer 7. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on to layer 7. You want one and you want two stone blocks and then andesite walls to either side of them. And then three rows of three stone and then two rows of uh, one stone and then andesite walls on either side <coughs> skull and skull on the back of this stone block with an iron trap door on either side of it and you want stone brick full blocks on either side of it like that no on top of the previous one just like that I'm sorry and then you want stone top slabs two stone top slabs on either side just like so and then a stone brick wall Back with birch fence gates. Then inward.
you want two smooth core slabs on top of the previous two walls on the bottom. And then you want two brick fence gates. carpet and the slab back here and in the center. You want two stone bricks on top of the previous ones and then you want iron trap doors on the sides. Just like so. And then you want just a row of one, two, and three. And a site slab with two gray carpets on the sides. You don't want three, you actually want two stone uh, and a site walls with a stone stair behind it, and an iron trap door. And then in a triangle, you want stone stalls on top of the walls. And this is just the layer seven. Moving on to layer eight. All right, so start off with layer <coughs> layer eight. You want an iron trap door on top of this stone block. And then a slab behind it. Then you want polished andesite full block in the center with a stone slab to either side. What is this? Okay. It's been a while since I've. What is this? What did I do with my shirt there? Alright. So you want stone brick stair behind it and a wall to either side. And then. You want a full stone full block in the center with an anti bolt to either side, and then you want two iron trap doors coming off of, the, of that um, that wall. So one, two, on the side. One, two, just like so. And then you want two stone blocks in the center. Stone stairs coming up the sides on either side, just like that, and then iron trap door in the center. And you want two stone bricks on top of the previous ones, and then like I think two like rectangle panels on either side. See, it's kind of a circle shape ish. You want yet another. Wall, and uh, on top of the previous one, and then in front of these birch fence gates, he wants two stone bricks in this place. Birch fence gates on top of them, and you can remove the. Underneath them, and then you have the cranes done. You want. <clears throat> sorry. You want two stone bricks on top of the previous ones, and then two stone stalls on top of the two iron trap doors to either side of the funnel. Then you want. And rod on top of this wall, and you want a stone stall on top of the wall next to it. And an end rod. Right. And then just so we can get out of the way, you want to put this end rod in place. One, three, four, five, six. On top of it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you probably want seven. Like that, and then on the six, you want an end rod, just one end rod, on the other 
side and then on the third you want two end rods on the other side and then that does it for the aft most uh, main mast which is really really tall <laughs> then you want to take a stone skeleton skull on top of the stone block here and you want end rod to either side is a radar and then stone block in front of it and an anticipate wall to the back of it the lever two levers on the Facing back on either side, and then pull the black stone slab, go one forward, and that dark oak trap door behind it. You want to repeat that for the second funnel, uh, just like that. You want to place pull the inside wall on top of the previous one, and then a stone stair on the front of it. A sign on either side of this stair, and an item frame on the front of it, and an iron trap door to either side of the entire wall, and then a birch fence gate behind the wall. And then you want to get out. <clears throat> Pulse and a side slab. Place it on the stair. You want the stone stair facing backwards. And then pulse and a side slab to either side. And then slab behind the previous slab with a skeleton skull on the back of this stair. I'm going to place another stone skull on top of this, uh, on top of the stair, with end rod to either side, and then on top of the skull in the back, you want one, two, three end rods, and then you want an end rod to either side of that, and with those final, in that final layer, that is, we are done with my design of the German battleship. H44, of course she never received an actual name, because she was never commissioned, nor was she even laid down. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, this is a rather long video for a battleship, but, you know, that's just kind of what I get for building something so big. But, um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, I probably will, I don't know. Um... So yeah, my name is Curious Gamer, building the Gym Battleship H44. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And, um, hope you have just as much fun building as I did. Goodbye.